Yo guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another video on my channel here now in today's video guys I'm gonna be bringing you part two of my gun tight offset tight end scheme This is gonna be out of the New Orleans Saints playbook today We're gonna be going over the play Saints drive out I'm gonna be first touching up on the pre-play adjustments like substitutions and whatnot Then we're gonna move into you know running the play and my setup against multiple different defenses including cover two cover three cover four palms main coverage and cover four drop now guys before we do get in the video if you don't want to follow me on twitter my link is down below and also guys if you do want to check out my two most recent videos which by the way i've been doing great they mean top brand screen right now guys let's go ahead let's get into it all right guys so here we go today we're going to be going over the play out of gun sight gun tight offset tight end the saints drive out so let's go ahead let's quickly go over the personnel subs now what you're going to do here is how you get access this menu is you're going to press r1 on your controller and what we're going to do here you just want to make sure that your fastest receivers are in or the your best receivers are in these positions or in these positions right here so i have emmanuel sanders in this spot he has pretty good catching then i also have michael thomas in this spot now you also want a guy that has good route running here because this corner route that comes out of this play is really really good so i definitely recommend you guys go and get your best route running receiver here i have michael thomas right here and really i can't really think of any other guys maybe deandre hopkins would be a good guy in the spot but pretty much what we're going to do here is we're going to run saints drive outs now what's so good about this play is that you do have a table route with your running back as well as obviously the corner route that i didn't mention before and guys that's pretty much it now now let's go ahead let's get into the setup all right guys so today we are going to be running out of nickel normal now the setup here today the, the first step in the setup here is going to be to streak your tight end which is triangle x and up on the left stick then what we're going to do is we're going to slant the o receiver which is triangle all in right uh, left on the right stick by the way i just want to let you guys know as well that the setup will be down in the description if you guys need it then the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to motion hike this o receiver to the right so this is what the play should look like here basically you have the high low read with your streak in the tight end as well as the table ride with your running back and you also have the corner route on the left side which actually is going to get really open against cover two and then also if you need someone to dump off to against cover three or any of those deep coverages you do have that out route with the squares so basically what we're going to do we're going to motion on manuel sanders and right when he gets about here we're going to snap this ball you're going to see that your first read is always going to be a low ball slam which is going to be holding l2 as you throw the ball basically i'll just do it one more time for you guys we're going to streak the tight end slant o and we're going to motion hike him to the right it's so basically right when he gets past the numbers we're going to throw this and as you can see right here you get a very easy four to five yards now also you will have the table route as well against deeper coverages such as cover three and cover four palms and maybe against man coverage too so i'll just go ahead i'll go over that here real quick you're gonna see though that against cover two really does not get open you're gonna take a look you're gonna see that the the cloud flats or whatever actually play it pretty well so i wouldn't recommend throwing there but your first read is going to be that slant also one of one of your reads too your second read after the table route is actually going to be streaking the tight end which is really good because you're going to see against cover two that it gets really wide open so we're going to take a look here let's just say none of our reads are open you're going to see that okay so i accidentally pass led it to the wrong way let me just quickly go back and do this right here so what i'm going to do is streak the tight end slant oh we're going to motion him out right we're going to hike him you're going to see right here that essentially this you can bomb cover too uh, why why is it pass leading the wrong way i want it to pass lead up like down the middle because that's how you can get your guys open so let me just quickly do that one more time for you guys i don't know the tight end's kind of in a tough spot right here but i was able to do it while labbing so we're just going to step back in the pocket you're going to see that drew breeze right here we're going to pass lead it right down the middle and we're able to get J jared cook here for a massive game right down the middle because the safeties do split and if your opponent's not playing anybody deep there it's going to be a really easy area to bomb your opponents now also we're going to take a look at this corner route as well i'm just going to motion down Emmanuel sanders once again you're going to see that this corner route gets really open against cover two we're just going to pass lead it to the sideline which is flicking the left stick up into the left and now he did not catch it because i actually threw it a bit late so what we're going to do we're just going to run this again just gonna motion Emmanuel Sanders out. You're gonna see right here that he gets some pretty good separation and I accidentally pass let it up instead instead of to the sidelines. So let me just do this one more time. It's kind of tough guys. So let me just run this real quick. It's honestly a really easy setup. We're just gonna run this play and you're gonna see right here that we're just gonna go. We're gonna pass lead it to the sideline. You're gonna see that Michael Thomas, I don't know why he's not making the catch man because he really should be because I mean it is kind of a cover two beater. 
right here. If the flats were playing lower, you could definitely go and bomb the coverage. For some reason, I don't know why. Oh, there we go. So as you can see right there, we're going to be able to bomb the coverage. See, what I did was I kind of rolled out left there, and then I passed light it to the sideline. And then also, finally, you're going to have an out route as well, which is going to be really key right here, and I did not mean to motion Michael Thomas. You can honestly do that, though, honestly, to get a post over the middle. You could definitely actually do that. You know, that's definitely something you could do. But we're just going to take a look real quick here. We're just going to motion Emmanuel Sanders out. You're going to see that this out route here, if your opponent's playing deep, you're going to be able to low ball it right there. You're going to get be able to get a very easy five to six yards just by doing that and, you know, reading the coverage and reading the safeties and whatnot. Now, you know, against Big Nickel over G, obviously it's going to work a bit different because I believe instead of having a player like right here the player is actually going to be on the other side so instead of like this player being here as the id of the mic is showing right here it would be on the right side so that low ball slant is looking a bit risk a bit more risky when you throw it there so just kind of keep that in mind but now guys we're going to go ahead we're going to move on to this play against cover three all right, guys, so here we go. This is going to be the play against cover three. We're just going to motion out Emmanuel Sanders. You're going to see right here, once again, the low ball slant is going to be open right here. Now, there is a chance you might hit your running back, so just be careful of that. Let me just go to cover three sky. But, you know, there is a chance you are going to hit your running back, so just be very, very careful with this. But you're going to see right here, once again, we're just going to be able to get Sanders wide open right here. He actually does fall forward for a first down, which is very, very good. Sometimes that will happen. Man's a very glitchy game. What can I say? But also what's so good about these deep coverages too is that you could actually dump off to the running back and get some solid yards. So you're going to see right here that, see, I don't know why though. It looks like the curl flats are not playing back. Basically, you know, if you're, if you're coaching adjustments, basically what you have to do, you just have to read the coverage right here. And if you see that this player most likely, their, your opponent will have this player might kind of drop back more to cover like crossing routes and whatnot. If that's the case, the table route's going to be wide open. Also, I'm going to showcase the out route as well. You're going to see right here to the left, we just low ball it. We're able to get a very easy six to seven yards. It's honestly a super simple play. And then we're just going to run another play here as well. We're going to actually look at the corner route and see if he gets open. I believe the streak does get a tad open right here. We're going to look at this corner route, though. You're going to see that, like, right here, we're able to pass lead it to the sideline. And I think we got a completion on that. So you could definitely go and dot up your opponents if their zone drops are kind of low. And let me just quickly test out the tight end. I believe the tight end could get open against cover three because he kind of is in that soft spot area on that streak. So let me just run this here. And I mean, yeah, you could definitely go and like throw this right over the middle. It is a very risky throw, but your opponent might not have a lot of time to click on. So you definitely could go and punish him for that. So now, guys, we're going to move on now to cover four palms. All right, guys, so we are in cover four palms right now against Nickel Normal. Now, I will say that Nickel Normal and the big Nickel over G cover four palms are a bit different. But regardless, I believe you still should be able to get this one play TD. But essentially here, what we're going to look at, you're going to see that triangle. For, all right, I threw it at the wrong time right there. But basically what happens is, for some reason, the, the safety out of big nickel over G, when it has match, or excuse me, out of nickel normal, when it, it has basically matching properties out of cover four palms. And you're going to see this right here. I'm going to hike this ball. You're going to see how this free safety reacts. He kind of stops, which is weird. But it allows Michael Thomas to basically get a free one-play touchdown right here. So if you watch that safety and he freezes, you're going to be able to get a very easy cover four palms bomb for the easy one-play TD. Also, you're going to have, I believe, the out route too. Let me just quickly set up the play and move to cover four palms. And you're going to see right here as well that that running back table route was going to be open. Now, for some reason, I don't know why in practice mode, it's really weird. The running back, like, does not catch the ball at all. Maybe it's because I'm holding square as opposed to just tapping it when the ball's near him. But you're going to see right here once again. Let me see. I'll, let me make that adjustment real quick. So you're going to see right here. And yeah, I don't know. It's 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 a weird glitch, but you saw that he was wide open. Basically, the matching properties did not get to him soon enough. And with that, basically, that will benefit you because you'll be able to get a couple yards after the catch. Also, we're going to take a look as well at the out route again here on that left side with square. We're just going to hike this ball. You're going to see once again, the out route is wide open because they're playing deep coverage. You'll be able to bomb that all day for six, seven yards. It's going to be really easy unless your opponent adjusts. And then finally, we're going to take a look as well at the low ball slant. It might be a bit tougher because of matching coverage. So just kind of keep that in mind. But you're going to see once again, the safeties are going to come over. And unfortunately, we threw it right at the running back. So that's why it's a really, really risky thing. But when it works, you're getting easy yards. You're basically dinking and dunking down the field, but eventually that'll get you a touchdown. With this scheme, I my passing game has been amazing, and I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, the scheme 
has been really, really good to me. But now, guys, let's go ahead and let's move on to man coverage. All right, guys, so once again, the play is against man coverage. Now, what we're going to highlight first here is going to be that corner route with Michael Thomas. You're going to see that he gets amazing separation in man coverage. It's actually unbelievable. If you have a faster receiver there, too, that with good route running, you're basically going to be able to bomb that all day. You're also, we're also going to take a look at, as well, the out route actually gets pretty open on this play. So we're just going to look at it. You're going to see that that out route by... Um, Square actually gets pretty open. We're actually able to get 10 yards after the catch or actually five yards after the catch So definitely gonna be an area where you could focus on also I believe the low ball slant does work against man coverage as well I did lab this so you just want to you know watch for that safety though You just want to make sure but you see right there Unfortunately the running back it hits the running back that is something that you're gonna have to really watch out for so Really what I would look for against man coverage is gonna be that out route the table route as well as that corner route coming on the left side and that's honestly pretty much it guys for man coverage now though let's go ahead let's get into cover four drop all right guys so here we go reversing cover four drop now cover four drop works basically the same as cover three you're just gonna look here at the table route you're gonna look at that low ball slant as well as maybe the corner route as well as the out route i mean there's gonna be a lot of reads on this play you're gonna take a look here low ball slant we'll be able to throw that now unfortunately i did throw it a bit late but the user is not really gonna recognize it at first it's more gonna be concerned with the tight end streak as well as the corner route on that left side so you're definitely gonna be able to dot it up you just gonna have to read the user and also read the coverage but we're also going to take a look as well at that table route. You're going to see that against cover two, uh, against cover four, usually the zone drops are going to be a bit higher. So you're going to be able to dot it up. Now, I, I just put it on default. You know, when they put it on default, for some reason, the curl flats don't really play as deep. So you're just going to have to keep that in mind. But most people have their curl flats on like 20 yards deep. So you could definitely go and throw the table route in those situations. Also, we're going to take a look as well at the out route. You're going to see once again, we just low ball it. Probably could have actually just did a normal bullet pass and it still would have got through. But we're still dotting him up. And then finally, we're also going to take a look at as well the corner route. You're going to see that it gets pretty open right here. You're going to see once again. Well, actually, it does not get open because the guy actually plays pretty deep. So, you know, there's there's a lot of reads on this play. Not really the corner route, though. And, yeah. So, let me just quickly run. Oh, shoot, man. I almost motioned Michael Thomas again. So, let's go take a look as well at Jared Cook here. The, actually, the tight end does not actually get open. I'm actually pretty shocked. But you're going to see right here still. You know, I, that's a broken play. But basically, you're just going to look for the table route, the out route, and the slant. Those are going to be your main reads against cover four drop. Now, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a like. Let's trash smash five likes. All the setups and timestamps will be down in the description if you guys missed anything. And, guys, take care. Most importantly, stay classy.